Oh, so we can actually choose which weapon we spawn in with. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to go with the M27 because it's exclusive for this map. So ring of fire. Let's go, dude. So we're using a plutonium mod that basically turns Black Ops 2 into Cold War zombies. Now, a link to this will be in the description below. It's pretty cool because not only do you like feel really smooth when running around, but you also, as you can see, don't get double swiped. Like your health is much greater, just like it is in Cold War. Your knife is a one hit until I'm not sure what round, but I would assume like around 10 or something you actually have weapon rarities too additionally we've got random perks right here just like the wonder fizz in a sense but it will literally just give you a random perk and it increases in price by like 500 each time we have an exfil here which i assume is every five or ten rounds and then scattered around the map are little ammo crates that you can use to purchase ammo it's pretty damn cool honestly so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the map and i guess experience what it'd be like to be playing cold war on black ops 2 because this is just a really cool overhaul mod. This is the first plutonium mod I've actually installed myself. Definitely going to give some more a try, but this is sick. Now, when we go up to a wall by, it even says uncommon. Like, it tells you what rarity the weapon is, which is nice. The mystery box is over there, so we'll work towards going over there. I assume the zombie damage will increase over time, just like in Cold War as well. And we've got a random perk dropping. Ah, yeah, here we go. Here's one of the ammo crates. Mystery box over here. And what perk is dropping? It's going to be, like, right here, isn't it? Oh, shit. Hello. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we've got speed cola. Nice. It might be worth just getting that straight away, honestly. But it feels so smooth just running around. I don't know if they increased the natural, like, stamina or something, but I guess in Cold War you run a little bit faster anyway. But, oh my god, when we get stamina up, it's gonna be interesting. Zombies spawning really fast, which I like. I think there's, like, a rampage inducer somewhere around the map. I have no idea where it is. There's also this mod for Black Ops 1 zombies, so I'm definitely gonna give it a try on there. We can do it on literally any map. Also, I forgot to mention, you actually have salvage as well on the very bottom left of the screen. So, I'm assuming there's, like, a workbench somewhere. The salvage are, like, these little max ammo drops, which is nice. And then when you have Mule Kick, you also get the ammo drops as well, which is cool. I'd assume that things like, what's it called? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm blanking on the name. Death Perception. Those those perks will also be in here. Ah, a Ring of Fire is ready as well. Nice. Well, let's go ahead and buy Bead Cola because why not? It's instant as well. You don't even have to like drink the perk which is nice i'm assuming quick revive will do the thing of it regens your health faster so we kind of really want to buy that and the point system is you get kills and it gives you the points just like cold war it's like based on how much damage you do so it actually doesn't matter if we like how we kill them as long as we kill them it's pretty interesting just seeing what this is like on a different game to cold war because everyone always says that cold war is pretty easy which i'm not going to necessarily disagree it's just it's very refreshing after you have a game like black ops 4 and Black Ops 3 wasn't exactly the easiest. Okay, let's ooh, let's let's not go down here. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's I'm saying how easy it is and I'm almost dying. Christ, man. But yeah, it's just it was a refreshing change that was very, very needed for um Oh god. But after Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3. I want to try out this Ring of Fire though. Let's go and buy Quick Revive. Boom, that should help us heal a little bit faster. And then the next perk is 3,500, so I guess we'll just wait for that. Because we could wait around, see what perk we get from the sky, but this, this just seems more fun, you know? Completely random. Still a one-hit knife, which is good. I wonder if Speed Cola makes us, like, swap weapons faster, and it also makes the box settle faster, because that would be sick. Oh, speaking of which, we got another perk dropping. It dropped right over there. Where was that? In the house? Let's open this door and have a look-see, shall we? Oh, we have Double Tap. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be 3,500. It's cool, because Double Tap obviously isn't in uh, Black Ops Cold War, so we get a little bit of a... a bonus. I forgot the M16 was a wall buy on here. Holy shit. A rare wall buy as well. This is cool because it's actually going to be like experiencing what double tap in Cold War would have been like. Because we never got double tap, which sucked. It kind of made sense why we didn't because the guns, you know, exponentially get more damage. But maybe the rarity thing only works for the box and also wall buys because I'm not seeing anywhere we can actually upgrade our weapon. Which, you know, is perfectly fine. Oh, we got double points. Huge. Uh, I'm going to drop down because that'll get a bit too risky. We got max ammo. Okay, I will take it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was close. Uh, let's use our ring of fire. Are we using it? No. I, I was trying to... Do I have to do F and E or something? Or Oh, here we go. So you have to hold F and E for some reason. That's sick. It has a whole animation as well. And yeah, we don't have to reload. This is sick, bro. So getting to high rounds would actually be pretty fun with this. Go buy this double tap really quickly. Uh, and then we'll go and I suppose... Oh, it's got the Black Ops 1 icon. That's cool. Maybe it doesn't increase your damage. Maybe it's Black Ops 1 double tap. That would kind of make sense because it'd be a bit broken otherwise. What do we get? A python? 
cool. Oh yeah, we definitely swap weapons faster. And it's a blue rarity python. A huge. This is going to do a lot of damage then. Wow, this gun's actually doing pretty good. Not going to lie. Sucks that even with speed cola, the python reloads so goddamn slowly. But hey, just spam it a little bit. We're good. Also, yeah, that box definitely spun faster, which I can appreciate. Oh my god, the M27 with double tap. Just sounds like a machine gun. Well, it is a machine gun, but it sounds like a laser beam, I should have said. Yep. Oh, wow, that was instant. The B23R. A blue B23R, so, you know, it's actually kind of decent. Buy another perk. What's this one going to be, huh? Mule kick. Okay, so we actually get ammo drops now, which is nice. Genuinely not bad. The good thing as well is there's no, like, perk limit, I assume, so. Oh, my God. Is this a black box? What is that? <laughs> what? Oh, it's a carpenter. Oh, the more you know, I guess. Oh, Jesus. I was saying how this isn't too bad. Yeah, it kind of is. I wonder if I'll have PhD on this. I'm going to throw a grenade. Don't think grenades are quite as good as in Cold War, sadly. We've got an AK-74U. That's probably decent. Well, it's only green rarity, but, you know, anything counts. Oh, hello, hello, hello. We've got 1,700 salvage, but nothing to upgrade it. We could do with Juggernaut because these zombies are just being a little bit annoying. Also, it sucks because we have, like, you know, a full horde. We just spray into them and get points, but nope, that's not how it works because Cold War points is them. It's bad, dude. But yeah, here we go. The ammo drops get 20 each time. Let's go. Practically infinite ammo. We've got an RPG. You know, I'll probably pass on this. Oh, you can actually pick up your other weapon. That's sick. That is really cool. I like that. That was one of the best parts of Cold War because, you know, just being able to swap out your weapons. You can even give it to your teammates and stuff, which I really, really like. Yeah, this AK is not doing damage right now. So, she it is. Well, nuke it is, but go for a spin. Come on, give me something deep. War Machine? I was going to say something decent, bro. That's not decent. Oh, we have Mule Kick. Okay, we still have this then. These zombies are spawning in fast, though. Holy shit. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, but she can't fire so flipping quick. Go for another spin. Probably going to get a teddy bear, I'd imagine. But what is it? Uh, the Olympia. Oh, the Olympia. Sick, dude. Just what I wanted. I mean, somehow it's one-shotting. X-Fill is available. The SMR? Bro, you've got to be kidding me. Even with the upgrades, I don't think it's going to make the SMR better, you know? Might have to use our Ring of Fire because, oh yeah, they're starting to hit 50 damage each hit now? Okay. You actually have to be kind of careful because it's going to be death soon otherwise. Oh god, hello. Yeah, we're on 50 HP. Doesn't even red screen us, which is scary. Okay, let's try and activate it. Boom. Ring of Fire! Okay, that worked out. We have so many drops. Oh my god. Uh, happily, I'll take a fire sail. We also got insta kill, so they just step in here and they instantly die. Let's go. A B23R. Bro, can I get something decent? Okay, we got a perk. That actually might be a better investment right now. Oh god, move out the way. Also go for another spin since we have. <gasps> oh, ray gun. Okay. Gimme, 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 gimme. A golden ray gun, too. Cool. Uh, perk. We got dead shot. Okay. Not bad, probably. X still no longer available. Nice. At least it tells us, which is good. Well, the ray gun shouldn't be too bad on this because, yeah, especially since points are based on how much damage you do, it'll actually be okay. Oh, yeah, we seem to be getting like 90 points for each kill, which is, you know, pretty decent. Uh, might be a little bit more. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm just dead. They slapped me so fast. What the fuck? Oh, my bad, dude. Oh, my bad. Okay, well, we didn't lose our ray gun. Thank God. Get me to the other side of here, please. The zombies are just, like, really quiet, I guess. Oh, my God. Jug is here. I had no idea. That's going to be really useful if we can... Oh, this is going to be... Ooh. Okay. We're fine. Well, at least Quick Revive actually revived us. I can appreciate that. And the ray gun is definitely doing a lot of damage. I think it's the Cold War ray gun as well. So definitely feels stronger than usual. Go ahead and grab Jug though, because yeah, we need that. Even now, it's still it's like a five hit, but you know, oh well. Ammo is 10,000 points for the ray gun. Well, makes sense. Looks like we lost our AK, but whatever. It is what it is, dude. Oh, this gun is doing nothing. So yeah, we have to use our ray gun right now. I don't see anywhere we can upgrade our weapons at all. So it's fine. It's fine. We'll just use the he's. We'll just run around. That's what we'll do. Ring of fire is ready. Okay. I guess the perk we'll buy next is speed cola, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Wait, eat a switch. Wait, what? what does that mean? Oh, is that the Rampage Inducer? I think it is. Ah, that's cool. One hit knife. It's not even a one hit. Oh, we don't even have enough for Speed Cola yet. Cool. Okay, there we go. We got enough. Give me the Speed Cola. I just want to get out of here. Thank God we don't have to drink it because that would be a death trap. All right, this isn't too bad then now. This is fine. It's kind of going to have to rely on... You know, this would be nice if we had Mule Kick now because we could pick up ammo for our Ray Gun. But we just have to do this the old-fashioned way of... 
spraying because there's too many zombies around. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I don't know how we're fine, but we are. Fire sale? Okay, nice. Well, we definitely need that because our guns are a little bit doo-doo right now. I mean, the ray gun's great, but I need something else. We keep getting the B-23R, bro. Are you serious? I got another B-23R. I said anything else. What do you mean? The SMR. Sick. The Barrett. Oh, cool. The Python. Holy shit, this game hates me. This game despises me. The DSR-50. The MP5. Okay, at least that's something like slightly decent. It's a higher rarity, but... Jesus, bro. I can't catch a break today. Maybe getting perks is just the play then, if we're going to get so unlucky like that. Oh my god. Give her one more spin. Yep, a Barrett. A Barrett. A Barrett, bro. A flipping Barrett. And this is blue rarity, but it's barely killing. Guess we need dead shot and double tap, to be fair. We have double points, so, like, we'll just spray the Reagan a little bit, I guess. Or, well, we can go ahead and let's use our ring of fire. Boom. Actually killing, okay. It was nice being able to just spray like this. And we got an insta-kill as well. Another fire sale. Oh, we're out of ammo. Oh, an SMR. Sick. That's just what I wanted. What is it? A foul? You know, I'll take it. It's really not good, but it's better than nothing. Oh my god, let's go ahead and buy another perk. PhD? Okay, that's actually really good for our ray gun. And then we got Deadshot. Nice. Okay, two good perks. Okay, this foul is ass. This foul is ass! This foul is not good. We need to exfil at, like, um, maybe we'll do 25. Because with the firepower right now, I don't see us getting past that round. Come on, foul to the head. How much damage is it gonna do? Doesn't, doesn't even one shot with Deadshot. Okay. PhD's nice, though. We can actually be a little bit careless. Not too careless. I wonder if you can pack a punch three times. I assume you can as well, but it won't be until, you know, pack a punch eventually drops, which the downside of playing Nuketown, of course. All right, we've got like every zombie grouped up. Just fire a couple times. Boom, they're all gone. Double points. Nice. That's actually huge. And a max ammo. We needed that. We can actually work towards some of our perks now. Or I mean, should we just save up points to get like the extra pack of punches? I wonder if they have the camos. That would be cool. That could be a nice thumbnail material if there is. I mean, we don't have stamina, but it really feels like we do with how fast we're sprinting. We've got double tap now, which is going to be nice. Um, no perks have dropped in the back here, have they? No. Fuck it, dude. Let's get a random one. Tombstone. Oh, it wasn't worth it, man. Oh, it wasn't worth it. Oh, we had the PhD explosion. That scared the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Just jumping down and hearing that fucking kaboom, but hey, yeah, that was pretty badass. So if we dolphin dive, does it also- No, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Insta-kill, huge. Means we can just, yeah, obliterate them all. Cool. Guess we'll just use the foul for a second here while we have insta-kill. God, the sound of the foul is pretty nasty, I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Like, even if it is a shit gun, doesn't do any damage, it, yeah, at least it sounds cool. Oh, we got another perk dropping, or oh, please be pack-a-punch, I beg. If this was like, you know that video I did where I was pack-a-punching a gun on every Black Ops 2 zombies map? If this was that, oh my god. I think we got that on round 15, thank goodness. Uh, what's this? It's right here. Pack-a-punch, let's go. 5,000, and yeah, it does have the increments as well, which is nice. We finally have some firepower, dude. 15,000 and 30,000, cool. But yeah, we'll save up some points so we can actually afford this. Nice having custom perks on this map as well, of course. I mean, let's be honest, using anything else is going to be pretty ass, so like, we just kind of have to use this ray gun. Thank God we got it after all the dog shit weapons we got in the box. Ah, yes, my favorite, the Glitch Carpenter. Best drop in the game. I won't lie, it's very satisfying to just run around and use this, though. Oh, a fire sale. Oh, you're spoiling me now, game. Come on, what are you going to give me? going to be nothing useful, that's for sure. Oh, the M27. Okay. Well, if it's a different rarity, it's blue. Okay, okay, I can dig it. We're on round 20 now, which is kind of nice. The SMR. Dude, I just got the SMR over there as well, I swear. You're going to give me two SMRs, bro? Come on. Come on. Come on. Cut me some slack, man. A DSR. No, the game just... I'm, I'm just done with the box at this point. We obviously know how difficult the Reagan Mark II is to get, so we're not going to bother for that either. Plus, we're holding a Reagan, so we kind of can't. Try not to get hit by all the zombies. Then you just jump around. Boom, 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 boom. They're all gone. Oh my god, the body pile up. Hoo -hoo. I want to at least get this tier 3 packet punched, and then we'll end the video. Because I want to see how much damage this thing actually does, you know? Oh my god, these zombies are sprinting fast, dude. Okay, so they've actually increased the speed that they run. Which, you know, we're running really fast, so it makes sense why they would. But, Jesus, bro. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! How did we not die there? I have no fucking clue. Jesus! I was just trying to, like, kill them with insta-kill with the M27, but it ran out. <laughs> it's fine, we're good. Our ray gun has actually stopped, like, one-shotting as well, which isn't too good. It's like a two-shot? Uh, uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's not, like, reliably one-shotting anymore, so... 
Let's go ahead and double pack a punch it. Boom, gimme. Oh, it doesn't change the camo. Okay, but it's still cool. Now it should be one-shotting. Yeah, there we go. Much better. And the blast radius is pretty cool as well. All right, let's go ahead and use our ring of fire. E and F. Boom. Raygun. Oh, yeah, there we go. Give me that max as well. Sure, we'll hit the box because why not? A Galil? Okay, actually not bad. Give me. Should be... Oh, it's gold rarity. Nice. I mean, there should be a way that we can get armor, right? Because armor... Armor is in this game and in this mod. And we've gone this entire time without having armor. Like, so surely there's going to be armor somewhere, right? Yeah, I don't know if I'm stupid. Uh, if you guys know and you have the mod, like, where the armor station is on this map, then please let me know. I think there's the thing. Oh my god. Wait, what? Switch and it says armor. Oh my god, are you serious? I thought this was the rampage inducer. Hold F for level one armor. Hold F for level two armor. Hold F for level three armor. Are you serious, bro? Are you serious? That's that's so fucking. I'm so stupid. Well, now I'm. No I know why I'm taking so much damage all the time. I thought that was the rampage inducer. I guess I'm stupid. I guess that's somewhere else, but I just don't know. But nice. Okay, we actually can survive a little bit now. I'm gonna say it felt a little bit too difficult for Cold War. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. We should be able to pick up armor pieces as well, which is nice. I can't see if we can upgrade our weapon there because, of course, we have the goddamn Golden Galil, so it's already, like, max upgrade. Plus, you can't, like, upgrade the ray gun or any wonder weapons, so that's a bit of a shame for... We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Duck in a corner? Doesn't matter. PhD and ray gun. Actually, just decent damage as well, this. Nice. Not enough to warrant me using it over the ray gun, but I guess it's, uh, it's usable. Oh, Jesus, stop slapping me. Holy shit. They are aggressive. I mean, they're running really, really fast. So, so yeah, our knife is definitely not a one hit anymore. It seems like uh, I knifed four times and there was nothing. So, oh, they're completing the moon Easter egg. Oh, we're actually going to get our blue eyes now. That's cool. And it's nice we can repair the armor very easily as well. All right, so this means we're going to actually get the blue eyed zombies, which is sick. Yeah, here we go. Blue eyed. What's up, bro? Oh, and light. It's actually a little bit more difficult to see them, like when they're running around. Oh my god, we're fine. We're fine. We just got stuck, but it's cool. And we're not getting any more drops as well, like perks or anything. So I'm guessing that's all of the vanilla ones. Oh my god, stop with the slaps, bro. Maybe we do need stamina if it is on this map. We're so close to tier 3 pap, bro. I want to just, just get it. Exfil now available. Well, I said I'm going to do it on round 26, but... We'll actually wait because I want to be able to tier three pack a punch and maybe get a couple more perks. What's up, Zombros? You're all sprinting at me. Look at you guys. Jesus Christ. Right, well, it's fine. We're good. Max ammo. We're like so close to tier three pack a punch. Please. There we go. We can get our tier three. Give me. Give me it. Hey, now we should be just. Yeah. Kaboom. They're all gone. And this should be one shotting until what? Like round 50? Oh, well. Oh. Also, it's nice. It still has the Black Ops 2 ammo count and not the Cold War one, because I think it got nerfed in Cold War, so it has, like, only 160 shots or something. This one has, like, 240. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you're all just dust. You're all just doomed, bro. So, x fill will only be available at, like, round 31, then, I guess. So... By that time, we'll have all the perks, so this is pretty good because we'll be able to go through and experience everything this mod has to offer, which, you know, we want to do that. We want to showcase exactly how good this is. It's really cool. Like, some people don't have Cold War. It, like, you know, it costs, what, $50 or whatever it is. Some people aren't really willing to go ahead and buy it, so it's good for the people who aren't. And Plutonium, of course, is free, thank God. In fact, Black Ops 2 is still, like, 50 bucks on PC. Steam is just ridiculous in the year 2023. Oh, stuck, stuck again. It's fine. Got an insta-kill. <laughs> Don't really need it, but since there's no self-medication or whatever it's called, self-revive, then I'm guessing the quick revive works as both quick revive and regenerating your health faster, so who knows? Boom, 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 boom. Bye-bye, all of you. Now, we don't want to end the round, so perks, let's see what we can buy. Next, we got Mule Kick. Oh, and we get our Mule Kick weapon back. That is such a good thing. That's the best, like, feature in Cold War perks, honestly. Stuff like that. Now we have Cold War stamina up. Oh, my God. Yeah, we are running around really fast. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what else is there? Oh, that's it. Oh, that's all the perks. Oh, never mind. I thought there were way more. Cool, then. Uh, oh, we don't have Quick Revive. Oh, we don't have the points. I'm stupid. I forgot that the price exponentially increases so much that we just don't have enough points for it. Okay. I wonder if it has, like, ammo types you can put on the weapons. I don't think so, because it just has Pack-a-Punch option here. Mule Kick might get me killed because, you know, having to switch twice for weapons, but I guess we'll just keep the Ray Gun out then. Probably the best choice. Oh, da -da 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 -da. 
we're fine. Good nuke timing. Oh yeah, training is going to be so much easier now with this with, with stamina. <laughs> Look how fast we sprint around, bro. And it's unlimited sprint as well, so we can just go wee in a circle. Oh, so difficult. Oh, let's not, not jinx things here. We've got 9,000 common salvage, 2,000 epic. I mean, it'd be cool if they had score streaks, but I understand that the mod creator couldn't add those in because they were at like the limit of what they could add. So that's fair enough because, you know, without the score streaks, it's like, eh, whatever, it's fine. It's no biggie. The cooler parts, you know, of a salvage, the armor system, the upgrading weapons and the pack a punch system and stuff, you know. Oh, we're actually getting ammo drops now, which is huge because of the uh, mule kick. So that's pretty nice. We just never have to worry about ammo again. <laughs> that's fine by me. Like, look, we'll reload, run over this, boom, full ammo again. Well, it's the middle of the round, but, you know, screw it, dude. Let's just go buy another perk. What's this one going to be? Quick revive. Okay, so is there elemental pop is the question. Just sprinting past all these guys. Don't mind me. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm great. I'm okay. Fucking hell. It's just, it's not even close. Like, how do they expect the zombies to stand a chance in Cold War? I mean, I know past round 55, you get the super sprinters. Like, yeah, they're annoying, but with the health cap, they're just like, it doesn't matter at all. Especially when you have a ray gun or you have like the die wonder weapon on D machine or something. Kaboom! Okay, I was expecting the grenade to actually do stuff because it's Cold War, but it's not, sadly. Next perk, what's this gonna be? I'm assuming this will be like the last one. Elemental pop! Oh, that's cool. Whoa, okay, that was like a massive explosion. And we have electric cherry, nice. Cool, it actually affects them. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm guessing it'll apply some random effects then, since Black Ops 2 doesn't have uh, alternate ammo types. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, it seems to be kind of sometimes. Like, I'm seeing little frost things. Yeah, I think that's all the perks because we cannot buy any more. It doesn't give us a prompt. Looks like that's it, which is sick. Yeah, these look like all the perks. Let's go ahead and pack a punch our Galil. Oh, let's go. Probably going to do zero damage because, you know, it's just a Galil tier one pack a punch. But I got to respect the effort that the mod creator went to, like, really capturing everything that Cold War has to offer. You know, it copied the health systems and stuff. It Whoa, there we go. Element pop it copied like all the armor system and everything very much a one for one oh god hello hello we're fine i want to lose all our perks after we've just managed to get them max ammo sure don't mind if i do uh let's go ahead and activate ring of fire right when i activate it there's no one around of course and an insta kill oh you're just spoiling me game well we just want to get to the end of the round because it should be x fill next round i believe unless it's round 31 Whoa, it actually has a turned zombie. Wait, that's sick. <laughs> turned in Black Ops 2. That's so cool. They gave him like a power up head. That was kind of strange, but I'll take it. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, he's just, he ran over there. Oh, he's gone. So, bro, no, I'm so sad now. He's trying his best, dude. I'm stuck in this corner. Get out of the way, dude. Oh, it's no biggie. We're playing Cold War, like basically. So this is what X filling is like in Black Ops 2 zombies. Hold F to exfil. Game over. <laughs> so that's what so that's what it's like to exfil. I was expecting some cool like helicopter thing to go off. Not gonna lie, and I was gonna make a cool like you know oh I can make a short out of this. It'd be it'd be sick. No, it's literally just oh okay you exfil. The game ended. Cool. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on the screen right now of me pack a punching on every single Black Ops 2 zombies map, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>